destroy the powers of darkness lord and you are closing america to the powers of darkness you will reign forever you will rule forever hallelujah to the king of glory we worship you we bless you lord in jesus name amen hallelujah you can sit down please there is none like you to god be the glory to god be the glory amen i just share something little and we pray and um prophet has got case yes so i'll give her a few minutes after that you share something prominent and you know the lord was tearing my heart because i listened to one of her teaching and the lord stirred my heart to ask her to share on that little did i know god has already told her about it the power of our great god hallelujah glory be to god glory be to god and you know when you deal with um, the man of god who found the cmfi uh, that is zach Formum, my wife's father um who started his ministry that is found in in over 70 nations of the world in cameroon thousands of churches are planted and um he once said something if you have read his book called uh, deliverance from demons that people who deal with satanic powers who fight the powers of darkness either through deliverance or through uh, who have authority in the realm of the spirit are truly hated Satan caused people to hate them so that, they, uh, so that they are not influential in helping others deal with the powers of darkness. So when you come across somebody who is hated, because in those days, do you know that Benson Edouza was hated? Yes, they called him all type of names and all type of things when I grew up. But that was a man who had authority. He knew his authority. Amen? Amen? He could tell the president that I evict you out of office, and it happened. Benson Edouza carried the authority of God, but he was hated. I wish, and when, you know, a man of God who, who, who is coming here shared something. Uh, the man of God coming from the 24th, no, 25th to the 27th, um, Aromi, Apostle Aromi, dynamic man of God. If, if you are doing anything, leave it and come. He is a great apostle, very great man of God. God is using him a lot. He's from Nigeria. And the Lord spoke to him about the election. That's why he came to the U.S. He's ministering around the U.S. now. He said, this election is determinant not only for America, but for world revival. Amen? Amen? The problem with the children of God is that believers are blind. The word of God said, who is as blind as my servant? As I was sharing last two, I don't know whether it was last two Sundays or so. It is so painful to see the children of God blind. You remember I was ministering in Germany. I said something. It's abnormal that the enemy has an advantage over us. That, that the enemy see in the realm of the spirit and believers don't see. Isn't it? It's not normal. Do you know that when you walk in the street, the Satan is know who you are? They know who you are. Is it okay that the Satan is who pass somewhere and you don't know? What do you think God wants to give them that advantage over us? No. Because everything they have is what they stole from God. Our God possesses all power. Hallelujah. Amen. He is a consuming fire. He's just so mighty and so powerful. So therefore, people of God, the devil doesn't have anything but what he copies and steals. So it's not okay that a believer will not see in the realm of the spirit and then Satan is see. And then you attack those who see and call them witches and the rest. Are you getting what I'm saying? Why should the devil see and believers don't see? The church today has given what I call excuse for powerlessness. There is no excuse for powerlessness. Because on the cross of Calvary, Jesus paid for us to enter into realms of power beyond description. Amen. 
he died and he was crucified and he has given us let me tell you when he was buried he arose from the dead and the power of the resurrection lives inside of you let me say this for you to understand there is no power compared to the power of the resurrection because all of hell did everything to make sure jesus did not rise because the resurrection separates christianity from dead religion yes. hallelujah the resurrection is the core of christianity because the bible says if christ be not dead our faith is dead i mean if christ be not if christ did not rise our faith is dead but i announce to you hallelujah 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 the bones of the bones of 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 krishna are found in india the bones of Muhammad are found in Mecca. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's only one empty grave and it's found in Israel. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There is only one empty grave and it's found in Israel. Jesus arose from the dead and is alive forevermore. There is none like him. And there will never be any like him. Hallelujah. Everyone who pretends to be like him is fake. It's imitation just like the devil. But I want to tell you, he is mighty. He is powerful. Hallelujah. And the saints are rising in America. Amen. And we have to learn to use the authority God gives us. Believers are constantly begging and crying and crying that there is a place for that for repentance repentance is good and the rest and we, and we can intercede for the nation but it's time to rise and lay hold of the power of god and change the course of history america must be saved in jesus name hallelujah glory be to god glory be to god so these days are days of power now tell your neighbor you are in the right place the power of god shall flow through you you say you will never be the same hallelujah 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 so that's what the scripture says having disarmed principalities and powers he made an open show of them triumphant over them in it i want to tell you your enemy has been disarmed <laughs> God has made tilted the victory on your side. He disarmed the enemy and then he gave you weapons of warfare. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Strongholds over America shall collapse tonight in Jesus name. It's a triumphant church, people. It's not a church that cries and beck and, and, and run around. No, we are triumphant. There is no Satan is that can stand the power of the living God. And therefore, listen, people of God, you have authority to pull down strongholds. You are not a normal human being. You are a man and woman of God. Carrying the creator of the universe inside of you. The one who lives inside of you is not small Jesus. The one who lives inside of you created the world, created the cosmos. Hallelujah. And he reigns forever and forever. He is the king of kings. Wherever he goes, he is the king of kings. That's why he told Pilate, for this reason was I born. Hallelujah. He is not struggling to be king. He is the king of kings. Glory be to God. So when you pray tonight, you don't just pray like a beggar. You pray like a warrior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Remember when the president called Ben Sinidauza and said, we need rain. We need rain. There have been a drought in Nigeria. We need rain. Ben Sinidauza said, listen, there will be rain in two hours. <laughs> Hallelujah. There will be rain in two hours. And in two hours, what happened? The rain began to fall. And it fell for days. Oh, God has given you an eye authority. You know what Arome said? Many people, when, because they resisted him, he had a type of authority that was not normal. He was strange. 
Because God doesn't use normal people. He uses strange people. If you want to be normal, God will leave you alone. Because when he uses people, he uses strange people. He uses mad people. If you are not yet mad enough, God will leave you to yourself. Because when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you cannot be normal. He is God. When he comes upon you, he changes everything around you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. He changes you. You cannot be normal. If you are normal, something is wrong with you. <laughs> he uses mad people. And mad people go against the system. And when they go against the system, they are hated. Because they teach what others resist. And let me tell you, sometimes you resist the very thing you need. Are you getting what I'm saying? Sometimes you re people resist the very thing they need. God did not die for a defeated church. He died for a victorious church. Hallelujah. That's why the first thing he said when he was leaving the disciple was what? All power in heaven and on earth are given unto me. He died to purchase our victory. He did not die for himself. He died for you and I so that we may reign with him. Hallelujah. You have authority. All power in heaven and on earth are given unto him. If you have Jesus inside of you, you have all power within you. And you, when you command, you are a commander in the armies of the Lord. And God has called us tonight to command. Woo! If you don't like my message, I like it myself. Child of God, the days of believers acting like beggars is over. Your child, your, listen people, your father is the king of kings. And you know what? You are a king. King of kings. Oh, I'm excited tonight. I am excited tonight. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Because I just want to prepare you and we shall pray for three things and God will make it happen. Because when you pray in faith, things happen. The atmosphere changes. So I'm preparing you to know who you are. You are not normal. For you to come to pray for 31 days, you are not normal. Amen. Normal people don't do this. Amen. Today, my whole body was paining. I said, no, thank you, Lord. There's no way I can miss one day. Yeah. Hallelujah. I got up. I said, Lord, I will go. 31 days of fire. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. President Trump will never be the same. I don't know if there have been somebody ruling America who have been prayed for for 30, 31 days straight by the church. God has raised this man to bring a mighty revival. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 Listen, I shared a message. Which if you have not heard it, go to our website and listen to that message. What was the message last two Sundays? It's called what? Why we are praying for President Trump? Simple. Amen? I'll just mention one of it tonight as we pray tonight. One of it was, he will usher a worldwide revival. His coming will lead to a worldwide revival. Why are we praying for President Trump? When he comes, God, when he's restored to the place God called him, he's already there, but he has to become, come in the physical. In the spirit room is done. Amen. In the spirit room is done. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. You remember what the scripture says. For God has blessed us with what? With all spiritual blessings. Where? In heavenly places. What do you do with those blessings? You bring them in the physical realm. In the spirit it is done, but you bring them in the physical realm. In the spirit, President Trump is our president. But we are bringing it in the physical realm. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Shout a shout of victory. Amen. 
So just one of it, we'll be praying for one tonight and two other stuff before I give, before I give God's servant a few minutes to share with us something important in the heart of God. Hallelujah. Now, Isaiah 60, verse 1. 60 verse 1 and 2 or 3 or 4. <laughs> Let's read aloud. 1, 2, 3, go. Everybody, everybody, aloud. Okay, this one look like the time you must stand up. It say arise. I didn't say it. <laughs> the scripture said it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you there? Let's shout it together. Arise, shine. For thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hallelujah. You can sit down, please. So, listen. Isaiah is a prophet that prophesied about a lot, about the coming of the Lord Jesus. And when he said, arise and shine, he was revealing something that will happen. For your light is come. Who is the light of the world? Jesus. He was telling us that once you experience the light of the world, you are to arise and you are to shine. That's why since Jesus is the light of the world, he has made you and, all, you and I light. That's why the scripture says what? You are the light of the world. That's what the Bible says about you and I. If you are the light of the world, it's because of what? You carry within you the light of the world. So the Bible is saying, arise and shine. So, child of God, it's not okay for believers to sit in church and not know who they are. Many believers will die and go one day to meet God and discover the power that was within them. And they never make use of it. Let me say this, people of God. Before you go to meet God, become the devil's greatest nightmare. There's one thing I love with Katke. She is the devil's greatest nightmare. <laughs> I just was driving with her. I saw a woman on fire. We just went just to go and eat. Before we enter a place, she has dealt with the demons already before we get in. I said, whoo, this is frightful. She is serious. Sometimes you go and enter a place, maybe a hotel or something, and dreams and demons start chasing you in that hotel. She does, she does not allow that. Before she gets to the hotel, she deals with the demons first. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because child of God, we were never made to be on the defensive. We were made to be on the offensive. We carry within us overwhelming power. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The power in our disposal is overwhelming force. The calling in the military overkilled. It means you overcome your enemy so bad that your enemy cannot even fight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christianity is what? The power of God. And the power of God has no rival and no equal. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Child of God, this should, co this should cause you to explode. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you are not normal. The earlier you know about that, the better for you. <laughs> So neighbor, you carry the power that raised Jesus from the dead inside of you. Hallelujah. Even the smallest of us has what we call overwhelming power. Oh God, I worship you. You have not left the church powerless. You said, behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. Amen. That is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are not normal. You are anointed to win. You have been given overwhelming power. 
when you get into Walmart, demons begin to flee. Hallelujah. When you get into the store, demons begin to flee. Because the one who carries overwhelming power just entered. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say with me, I am not normal. I am extraordinary. I carry overwhelming power. The power of the living God. He has no rival. He has no equal. He alone is God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That's why the Bible says, arise and shine. You were not called to hide somewhere. That's why we are taking the church out of here. The church was not made to hide somewhere in the street where nobody knows. We are the light of the world. We are to put the cross and the pillar in the best place in the city. We are the shining light. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why the devil is trying to resist our going there. They shall be scattered. I was just telling her that I will take her there. We shall pray for that place again. Because soon we will hear the good news. We are going to the prime land of Westminster. And we shall put the banner of Jesus there. We are building the biggest hall in this city. The church is not a begging place. The church is a place for war. It's a council for war. Hallelujah. And when we win, when we meet, we'll win. And tonight we are winning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, give me some space. I'm here to chase demons. <laughs> Hallelujah. Rakadaraba shandaraba kadoroba kasharaka. Say, arise and shine. Arise, shine. For your light has come. Listen, he did not say your light is coming. It has come. It was prophetic revealing the coming of the Lamb. He is the light of the world. And when he has come, you must shine. Say with me, I must shine. Say, I am shining. Hallelujah. And you know why you are shining? Because, I say, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Oh, Father, thank you. You have the glory upon you. Hallelujah. So you are not normal. You are not normal. Amen. Believers struggle to be normal. They want to fit in. You are not called to fit in. The power of God is not for people to fit in. The power of God is to st for you to stand out. <laughs> That's why I say if you don't like my message, I like it myself. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are called to stand out, not to fit in. You don't fit into the system of this world because the system of this world is Josh. We are the light of the world. We bring light in darkness. Wherever we go, the glory goes with us. The power goes with us. Child of God, you have overwhelming force. You are to shine. You are to walk in the street smiling because your father owns the universe. He is a great God. Hallelujah. And he's a mighty God. So tonight, don't pray like a beggar. Don't begin to pray like this. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh God, maybe, maybe you will move today. <laughs> Child of God, you are anointed to win. Naraka sharaka darabaka. I say you are anointed to win. And tonight you will win. Glory be to God. Say with me, tonight I am winning. Say tonight I am winning. Say in the name of the Lord Jesus. I am winning tonight. Glory be to God. Say arise, sh shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hallelujah. So the coming of President Trump will cause a worldwide revival and it will affect nations of the world god is going to shake the world as he has never done before hallelujah my wife shared with you the prophecy that the 
the father gave us during the time when God, the Lord Jesus appeared to him and spoke to him about the fact that he should let me marry her. You know about that story? Some of you. Because somehow this woman of mine was a little bit, uh, it's a story for another day. <laughs> Ignore my letters. You know, I went and told my spiritual father about it, that God is telling me that this is my wife. You know what he told me? That's why I owe so much to him. He said, something I will never forget. He said, nothing agrees with my spirit like that. I said, oh, hallelujah. Thank God. The Bible says the weaknesses of two. Hallelujah. I got a weakness right there. Glory. So the father was not for her to come with me to the United States. So the father was, I was uh, here, a young pastor. And the father said, no, my daughter is not coming. But that day, the Lord Jesus appeared and spoke to him. And said, let Robinson marry Elizabeth. He said, because I have a great plan for their life in the U.S. And he said something. The Lord Jesus told him. He said, I will shake America to its very root. And then the revival will come. Wow. We are now in the shaking. There will be a mighty shaking in this nation. And you know what will happen, people of God? Evil will be exposed. God will shake this nation to its very root. And then a revival will come. Hallelujah. So, I've been meditating about that. And I'm telling you, child of God... I tremble with what this man of God said. He was, a, a, I mean, a mighty man of God. The Lord Jesus told him. And then I'm shocked that we are part of what God is doing. We are part of the shaking of America. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the prophets that God has sent here are part of the shaking of this nation. And then the revival will come. So I announce to you, we are not here just to pray for a man or some people think we are just preparing. No, no. We are praying for God's choice for one purpose. The purposes of God, not only for America, but for the whole world. It will cause a worldwide revival. And it will shake the nations. It's time for believers to wake up. What we are dealing with here is serious before God. It is the purpose of God because Satan wants America so bad. Satan wants this nation. But God is saying no, 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 no. So child of God, that prophecy came back to me. I will shake America to its very root. And then after that revival will come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then I trembled, remembering. I told my wife, our assignment is serious. We can't play anymore. This assignment is serious. So that's why we are praying with our very life. We are not just praying here. At home, we are praying. We are sending the hosts of heaven and we are shaking the place. Because our life is hanging here. Our very ministry is here. Because I've been called, not just as an apostle, but as a revivalist. There will be a revival at all costs. Hallelujah. I want you to say there will be a revival. A mighty revival. In America, nothing will stop it. In Jesus' name. Child of God, what I saw happening in Ethiopia. I told you we went to Ethiopia. There were over 50,000 people. The stadium was packed full. And you know what happened? Over almost 200 churches closed their doors and came together. And you know what? Even on Sunday morning, you will not get a church in America to close their doors. And come together on Sunday easily. But over 200 churches closed their doors and came together. Oh my God, I love you. 
Father, I love you. I love you. And because they were united, things happened. You were there. Ethiopia was special. When I sat there and I stood there and I saw the crowd, I was struggling with tears. I said, Lord, thank you. And then the Lord spoke to me. He said, listen, you know why it is powerful here? Because the churches are united. I remember a pastor once told me, I'm going to this conference just with my wife. Because if I take my church there, they will go and remain. Yes. He said, if I tell my church to go to that conference, they will go there and remain there. I was shocked. I said, listen, the body of Christ must come together to pray for this nation. That's why we are inviting every believer. If you are a pastor, bring your people here. Don't worry, they will not remain here. We'll make sure they go back to your church. <laughs> I'm telling you, people of God, it's time to become one. That's why Jesus prayed, let them be one. As you and the Father, as I and you are one. When a copia God united, things happen. And I remember the last day, demons were coming out, manifesting all over the place. And then the news went to the other city. And they are looking for us now. They want us to hold an event that would take 100,000 people. Hallelujah. And they need about 25,000. I'm still praying for the 25,000. If God has spoken to you, please send the money. <laughs> Hallelujah. Send the money for Ethiopia. We are going there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And when I saw it, the Lord spoke to me. He said, my son, this crowd is small. What is coming on earth will be millions saved in one day. Millions and millions and millions and millions. Hallelujah. Our God is a big God. Glory be to God. So I want you to know you are, I mean, you have been born in a wonderful time. You are born in a wonderful time. And what is coming will cause your ears to tingle. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Therefore, stand up, let's proclaim. And let's proclaim and say, Father, we are welcoming the coming revival. Say, in the name of Jesus, all over the world, Lord, there will be a mighty revival. Therefore, in Jesus' name, we pray according to your purpose for President Trump. Therefore, in Jesus' name, we know you have selected him. We know you have chosen him for the sake of your work. In the name of Jesus, we proclaim and we plant President Donald Trump as our president in the name of jesus and we say in the name of jesus president trump the lord god will use you to bring the greatest revival the nations have known all over the world the demonic powers will begin to fall and we worship you lord because you are winning you are winning in America. You are winning in Africa. You are winning in Europe. You are winning in Asia. You are winning in South America. You are winning in Australia. You are winning in Greenland. All over the world. The King of Glory is marching on. We worship you, Lord. We bless your name. Now just worship him in the Holy Spirit. Roko 
Hindo roba kadara ba kasharaka, roba kadara ba kasharaka, roba ka, roba kadara ba kasharaka, kadara ba sharaka, roba kadara ba kasharaka, roba ka, raka dara ba shanda dara ba ka, roko raka dara ba kashara ba, roko dara ba sharaka doro ba shanda, raba banda dara ba kasharaka, roba kadara ba sha, raka dara ba sharaka doro ba shanta tara ba banda, raba banda dara ba kasho, roko raka dara ba kasharaka, roba kadara ba kasharaka doro ba kasharaka, roba kadara ba there are a group of satanists who have been gathering to curse President Trump. Let's command those strongholds to collapse. Are you ready? The group of satanists that have gathered to curse him. Now we shall command it to collapse. Say in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, we release fire. The fire of the Holy Spirit all over the United States to burn down and pull down every satanic platform raised against President Trump. In the name of Jesus, we command five million hosts, go forth hosts, in the name of Jesus, destroy every platform of the satanists in america and around the world who have ruled who have risen against president trump we command their curses destroyed powerless in jesus name we say make toast all their strategy and all their statements and spells we cancel in the name of jesus we decree victory. We decree triumph. We say, go forth, hosts. In Jesus' name, burn it down. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout a shout of victory. Hallelujah. 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 We'll pray for one more thing. And then, God save and will share something with us. Are you ready? Tell your neighbor, give me space. Say, I was born to pull down strongholds. Rakadaraba, shandadaraka, rakadaraba. Say, neighbor, I was born in Christ Jesus to pull down strongholds. Say, America will go right at all costs in Jesus' name. Say, neighbor, I am not just a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Shout a shout of victory. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Remember our God is a consuming fire. Amen. And his fire is greater even than the fire of hell. There is no fire on earth compared to him. For God did not create anything in the cosmos bigger than him. He is bigger than all. Hallelujah. The Bible says the heavens and the earth cannot contain him. He is just too big. Hallelujah. Nothing can compare with him because everything he created, he has dominion over. He is the Lord of the universe, or of the cosmos. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God of the increase of his kingdom or government. There shall be no end. So it's a consuming fire. Amen. Now let's proclaim and release his fire to burn down every satanic strategy and every strategy by the, the wicked system to, to, to rig the election of any kind. Are you ready? Because the rigging is done by man, but backed by the devil. Because these people want to take over the land. Demonic realm wants to take over. Because this thing is more spiritual than physical. The problem is that people look at physical beings. No, they are just walking, obeying their master. Satan wants this land. That's why our fight is not physical, it's spiritual. When we deal with the spiritual part of it, the physical thing will just fall into place. Amen? 
That's why we are here not to fight men, but to fight the powers that back men. Are you getting what I'm saying? We know where the power is coming from. The power that rules the present regime is demonic. So therefore, that power is that which must fall. Are you ready? Let's command the fire of God to consume every plan of darkness to rig the election. Are you ready? I want you to pray like a commander. Don't be praying in the name of Jesus, Father, I help. To... No, 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 you are not. No, no. God has made you a ruler on earth. Hallelujah. A king commands. Remember, he made us priests and kings, isn't it? Or kings and priests. A priest has power with God. A king has power on earth. You have both. You are a priest. You connect with heaven. Amen? And you are priesthood connect with heaven. But your kingship rules on earth. Because don't wait to rule in heaven. In heaven there is one king. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your kingship is right here. Rule on earth. Hallelujah. So are you ready to rule? Say I'm a king. Shout it I'm a king. And I'm ready to rule. Say in Jesus name. When I speak. Things happen. My verdict tonight must take place because I'm a king under the king of kings. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready? So shout it. Say in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit the church here gathers according to the word of God whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatever we lose on earth shall be loose in heaven with this authority in jesus name we bind all the demonic forces working with the intelligence systems to steal the election in the name of jesus we bind these demons and we bind these forces whether within or international in Jesus name we render them powerless we strip them of their powers in the name of the Lord Jesus we say they will remain bound forever in the name of Jesus and we say Lord our God has triumphed Therefore, in Jesus' name, the church says, every plan, plan, every plan and every strategy to steal the elections has failed in Jesus' name. And we decree from today the exposure of every strategy begins in the name of Jesus. We command the people involved in this to begin to expose each other in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We render them restless by the power of the Holy Spirit. They will become restless until they expose every wicked strategy. In the name of Jesus. We decree, we proclaim from today. Now, Lord, we lose the armies of God and we command the hosts, four, four million of them, go forth, hosts, make those revealed and expose every strategy of the wicked system. To steal the election, to rig it, we say in the name of Jesus, unveil not right now every plan. And we say the whole world will hear it to the glory of God the Father in Jesus' name. Amen. Shout a shout of victory. 
Just pray, pray and worship the Lord in the Holy Spirit. We give you glory, Lord. Raba bara kadoro baka sharaba roko raka dara baka sharaba roko raka dara baka sharaba roko dara baka sharaka robaka roko dara baka sharaka dara baka sharaka robaka dara baka sharaka robaka raka dara ba shanda dara baka sharaka Who is like unto thee Who is like unto thee raka dara baka sharaka dara ba shanda Rababanda da rabaka sharaka robaka raka riboko da rabaka sharaka who is like unto thee oh lord who is like unto thee oh lord who is like unto thee we say, oh, oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, amongst the gods, who is like thee? Oh, glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises, do in wonders, hallelujah. She will change the tune. to thee oh lord who is like unto thee Shout it. Do it wonders. Hallelujah. One more time among the gods. Among the gods. Who is like 
like me Glorious in holiness Fearful in praises Doing wonders Hallelujah Doing wonders Doing wonders Hallelujah Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for your daughter. For your daughter, God, who is here with us. You have arranged this time from the foundation of the world. And Lord, and you made her to be part of this historic event of prayer for this nation and President Trump for 31 days. And you granted her the opportunity to be here. We pray that tonight you will use her lord uh, father even in a short time lord what she share will be used oh god not only here but online and on the tv to, to raise the last day army of warriors for the kingdom of god thank you lord there is no limit to god's power we worship you lord in jesus name anoint her and use her mightily in jesus name we command the atmosphere open we command the clouds and the airwaves opened with the fire and the glory of god in jesus name amen amen, amen. hallelujah you can sit down please